The developer of the abandoned Lindy Boggs Medical Center in Mid-City is now using steel barriers to cover the building's windows. The developer and the neighborhood want to stop vagrants and crime. WGNO's Jordan Lippincott is there on Norman C. Francis Parkway. Jordan. Susie Kurt adding steel coverings to the building is the latest step in securing the property. Some say this is the step in the right direction, but others believe this may hint toward a bigger problem. Work began Tuesday on the installation of steel window coverings to prevent intruders from gaining entry into the former Lindy Boggs Medical Center in Mid-City. Some neighbors witnessed NOPD performing a sweep of the grounds before crews got to work. From a, you know, I guess from a neighborhood standpoint, you probably don't want people who aren't paying rent walking and living into a building, doing different things, whatever the case may be. But at the same time, there is another side of humility, I think a side of morality that comes into place because these people aren't living here because they have anywhere else to go. Last month, members of the Mid-City Neighborhood Organization voiced their concerns about criminal activity happening inside the vacant building, and the group is hoping new window protection will deter most unlawful visitors. In the advent of parkour and people being uh, in, ingenious in breaking and entering, especially if you're in the streets and learn how to get into empty buildings, that there's enough to keep them from easy access, and we'll go from there. Project developer Bill Hoffman says the installation will take about two weeks. And then we'll monitor the building and see if it's working like we think it'll work. And if there's any possibility that people are still getting into it, then we'll see what else is recommended by the security people. Mid-City neighbors say they're cautiously optimistic about the site's future. Words are words, action is action. And we're going to see what type of action we're going to get from this point on. The president of Woodward Interest, the project developers, says they're hoping to transform the property into a healthcare facility for senior citizens, offering a range of services like assisted living. Right now, they're waiting on HUD regarding financing the project. Kurt, Susie. All right, thanks for the update, Jordan.